Hello and welcome to the first lesson of this course. Now, before we start talking about wireframes and what they are and what they do, we need to understand first uh, the typical design process. So how do you get from an idea or a request or a client uh, briefing to a finished website? Well, here's how most people do it. They would get a project briefing from the client, which is usually a text document, telling the designer what the website is all about, what pages it should have, what kind of information it should offer, and so on. Maybe even include a few website examples the client likes. After that, the designer would open Photoshop or Sketch or whatever design software he's using and would start working on what would be the finished design. Then there would be communication between the designer and the client making revisions and ultimately reaching a finished product. Now, sometimes this works okay. The client gets what he wants and he's actually excited because he gets to see a glimpse of the finished product from the very uh, early stages of the project because well, that's what the designer starts with. He starts laying colors, um, different fonts. He starts playing around with the different elements in what would become the finished product. However, this is not the best approach. And there are a few good reasons for that. Uh, one of them is that you don't know the big picture just yet. Let's say you're spending a couple of hours designing an element that the client later decides to get rid of. Well, you've just wasted several hours of your time and your client's time. Why? Because you weren't clear from the beginning on what content is needed. Another reason is that making changes can be really time consuming. Now, let's say that the client imagined the interaction on this project to go in a specific way, but you didn't do that from the beginning. So what you end up with is you spend a lot of time creating what is a faulty user experience. And when you get to the client, he declines it, he wants it done in a different way. And then you got to spend even more time fixing uh, what, you know, should have been a very simple task from the beginning. So what would be the correct way of doing things? Well, the first thing or the most important thing you need to do is plan ahead. Uh, you need to sit down with the client and see exactly what he wants, what kind of content he has, uh, how he wants it to, to be displayed, how he wants to split that content into multiple pages. You need to know all of this from the beginning. Also, you need to know the purpose of each page so you can create a very good user experience on multiple devices. Now, this is the basic information you need to know. And the more you know, the better in the beginning. Once you get all this information, then you can start working, but not on something that would be a finished or a final design, not by a long shot you need to start wireframing. And some people call it sketching. The idea here is the same. Um, wireframe is a basic representation of your final product. Now, let's take a house, for example. When you're building a house, you don't just go to the store and buy cement and you start laying down the foundations without even knowing first uh, how big the house will be, how shape, uh, what shape the rooms will be or how thick the walls would be, right? You can't do that. You need a blueprint. You'll need a schematic, uh, something that will give you all the information you want, like how big the house will be, how thick the walls, uh, the shape of the rooms, and so on. Now, this schematic will give you all this information without actually uh, specifying, you know, the color uh, of the walls and stuff like that. Well, the wireframe is the same thing. It's a blueprint for a website. Its purpose is to show the structure without getting distracted by fonts, colors, images, and so on. By doing this, by simplifying things, uh, you're gonna make things a lot easier for you in the long run because 
If you want to add an element, for example, well, that's very simple. You just draw it really fast or you just uh, drag and drop from a pre-existing list. Now, how a wireframe is perceived and understood depends greatly on who you're showing it to. For example, if you show it to a designer, then you're going to have a much easier time because the designer usually understands its function and will use it as a blueprint. On the other side, if you show the same wireframe to a client uh, that maybe doesn't have as much experience as the designer, uh, without explaining to him, of course, what the wireframe is and what's its purpose, then you might end up with a very annoyed and confused client because he's going to see it, he won't understand it. And the first question that might uh, come into his mind would be, well, is this my final website? Or, you know, why are you coming to me with this doodle on a piece of paper? So to sum it up, always have a plan and start with wireframes. Start with the structure first. Once you get the structure done, then you can start adding things like fonts, uh, images, uh, colors, and so on. But all of these elements should actually go into prototypes and mockups. What are they? Let's find out next.